Hey YouTube, this is Jason. Um, well, the moment that I dreaded for four years has finally happened. I'm going to show you my inch bag. This is the bag. It has four pockets. One here, second one, a third, and a fourth. One on the top, and a big main compartment, of course. Now, I will show you in a second why I dreaded to show you this, because look what is in here. Um, I just get a heart attack just thinking about putting this all back, but I'm going to show you anyway. Okay, <clears throat> first the side pockets. Here's a uh, kefia scarf, some puzzle box. This is uh, a translator. You can use that when you travel and put different languages in and get the, the, the words in another language. Very handy. Some Velcro tape, some dextrose energy uh, tablets, a razor, some pepper spray, and this is a suture kit. And here is my combat medic field reference that I referred to in another video already. These items are in the top compartments the, on the on the top lid. Next, some toilet paper, um, a headlamp some uh, laces, shoelaces, garbage bags, playing cards, some paracord, uh, sorry, no, this is, the, these are shoelaces again, <laughs> uh, yeah, shoelaces. This is an industrial waste bag, an emergency blanket, of course, actually two, two uh, industrial garbage bags, some chalk, light sticks, batteries, a dry bag, special tape for when you get blisters, spoon, lighter, uh, sanitation gel, and this is like an ad administrative pouch with some pens and paper and a writing in the, in the rain pads, uh, some duct tape, some condoms, um, Um, tweezers, binoculars, that's the word. <laughs> okay, the second pouch, this is all my tools. This is a hand drill with uh, drills. Uh, these are small uh, you know these small screwdrivers some sharpening stones, a can opener, a pencil, this is my multi-tool with extra bits and stuff, a handsaw, uh, some glue, um, wood uh, glue and rubber glue, uh, box cutter, this is a measuring tape, this I'm very proud of, this is a spoon knife, Zip ties, uh, a nice tool to pierce holes, and what's this? Ah, well, you know what that is, uh, and another crowbar, uh, some colored tape. So, this is all uh, one in the front pouches. The third pouch is up here. Yeah, some more put tools. This is the yo-yo for fishing that I showed you in the other video as well, for my uh, um, expedition uh, first pack. A mosquito uh, net for your face. More color tape. Hand for the glass. Um, this is to see if things are straight, you know. Compass. Sharpening tool. Uh, this is my fish kit. I'm not going to unpack it. It's much too much time I need otherwise. Insect repellent. Uh, a signal mirror. This is uh, to pull up a uh, load. If you're from a higher place, to, you can hang it up and put a cord through it and pull up the load. Some lighters. Another pencil. 
a USB stick, some carabiners, some combat a camouflage stick, a poncho, a lighting stick, uh, this big axe in the main compartment, but it's here, so I'm showing it already. Safety glasses and my favorite masks, two of them, and uh, a flashlight. So that's all one big compartment. And then the fourth compartment, we have some um, spices, pepper and paprika and stuff like that, salt, uh, sporks, this is also for the pan, this is an unfoldable collapsible uh, glass, some clo uh, clove nails, some healing tea, some food packages with emergency food. This is actually a tea uh, sieve to uh, you can put tea in it or leaves or whatever. Uh, nail uh, nails from the pine needles, and you can make tea. I got two of these uh, army uh, whatever they are called to cook, and I have four emergency uh, drinking water uh, bags. And then what you all love, of course, this is my knife, my, my magic big knife, one of several. It has uh, fire steel, of course, in it. And this is the knife itself. I forgot the, na the name, maybe it's a, no, it's not on here. It's a giant knife, it's incredibly sharp. And uh, I really like it. So you can cut just anything with that. This is uh, the big compartment. From the top, uh, there's my big dry bag with clothes, so underwear and stuff like that. I'm not going to unpack it now. This is a hygiene kit with sanitary products, toothbrush and soap and stuff like that. Uh, a tarp with some uh, tent sticks, um, those are uh, wet wipes, some batteries, this is a, a shower bag, you can put water in it and shower, hang it in a tree and take a shower. What do we have here? Oh yes, um, very expensive. This is a uh, special woolen underwear, so it's a long under under trousers and a shirt with long long sleeves from wool, especially if you live in a very cold climate. These are um, something I really like. Uh, pictures from uh, leaves, twigs, seeds. Um, these are winter twigs fruits and seeds and spring flowers that is to help recognize what tree you're dealing with in this bag again I'm running out of time so I'm just going to tell you in this bag I have an SAS uh, emergency book uh, and two books about medicinal and edible plants and a book about uh, mushrooms edible mushrooms this is an emergency bag that you can sleep in. Uh, a crank radio, a foldable water container. This is a special uh, tree knife to take the bark off the tree, something I'm very fond of and very happy with. The red thing here is an emergency uh, fire blanket, a wooden spoon for cooking. Uh, that's for, for my head to keep warm, of course. Uh, and another one, a black one. Uh, working gloves. Those are eight uh, emergency meals. Knee pads. I found that very helpful if you have to kneel and uh, work on the ground with something. You put these on and have a bit more support. Um, this is very funny. 
I thought for an emergency I have to make sure that I have options to camouflage myself or to pretend I'm not who I am or be someone else. This is an orange thing for uh, like workers have if they work in the road. And this is a blue version with press on it. So if you're in a very difficult situation you can wear the vest and say you're from the press. Uh, a catenin water filter with extra filters. A stainless steel uh, canteen, paracord vitamins, this is a uh, mosquito net for your face, I used this several times, so. um, this is an Asbit uh, stove to burn, uh, you know those fuel, t fuel tablets in a little tiny stove, you know what it's like, so I'm not going to unpack it. Water purification tablets. Uh, some emergency bandages, you know, female sanitation bandages, but I have them in here for uh, in case of getting wounded. Um, uh, more emergency food. This is a big clambu. Uh, My famous safety goggles and uh, masks again. And these are coffee fillers. I thought it's also helpful for uh, water purification. And this is uh, a dried weed that you can use to smoke out a place for sanitation. Uh, the only thing missing now is my um, 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 my first aid kit and that's because I was working on it and filling it up and so on but the suture kit is still here the second suture kit it also has a medicine and antibiotics so I'm very happy with that um, so this is my entire inch bag um, now my next problem is that this bag is incredibly heavy uh, and frankly I couldn't walk with this for an hour. You know it's it's not a rucksack, it's a bag that you have to carry by hand. I couldn't do that. I almost tripped over it when I walked from the other room back to this room to pull it, uh, pull it over here and open it up. That's how heavy it is. It's just very difficult, and uh, I, I'm not sure what to do about it. Um, the The problem with inch bags, in my opinion, is that it's I'm never coming home. So I try to put all the items in that I could need for emergencies, for survival, and to maintain my life if I end up in some place in the wild or wherever it is and be prepared for all casualties um, it's just very difficult um, so I mean th there's no perfect solution somebody asked me before when I had my first video and I showed all those bags somebody said what you're going to do with it how are you going to carry it and that's a, that's just a problem because um, frankly um, I, I'm not that strong to carry this kind of weight. This is, I think, about 30, 35 kilos. I uh, don't know what it is in pounds, but you can do the math. It's it's heavy. No, 25 to 30 kilo it is. So let's say 30 kilo. Uh, the, the axe, for example, is a heavy axe. It's not a little tool. But in my opinion, this is all necessary and incredibly important. Um... So, yeah, what do you leave out? What can you spare? Or uh, how do you uh, do this? Well, I got one solution. I'm going to show you that just in a second. If you walk with me um, to my other room. Because I have a bicycle. And in here, I have a bicycle car. Uh, so that is my solution. 
in case of emergencies, I take this car, put it together on my terrace, and uh, connect it to the bike and drive off. And this one can carry, uh, I think, 45 kilos. So it can have the bag and several other items, uh, like my medicine and other stuff. So that's how I'm going to do it. And, uh, well, you finally got my entire inch back on the bed. Hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe and leave some comments if you have any more ideas. And, um, yeah, I hope you uh, watch the other videos as well. Um, yeah, I look forward to hear from you. Take care. Goodbye.